Sam Glenn, Days Behind the Camera with NC Beer Guys, we promote NC Craft Beer online, ncbeerguys.com. Welcome to another episode of NC Beer Buzz, and we found our way to Spruce Pine, North Carolina. And we're here at the Dry County Brewing Company with Chad Moore, the owner, proprietor, brewer. He is the man at Dry County. And thanks for having us in. We appreciate it so much. Thanks for coming. So, uh, it's also the pizza company, Pizza, pizza Shop. shop. Mm -hmm. Got that wrong. And so you, your background is culinary first. You're a culinary school graduate. That's true. So you were a cook and a culinary uh, chef uh, and got into brewing how? Uh, started brewing beer because I got tired of driving to buy beer. Uh -huh. I to move down to Chicago. Okay. So started and, brewing at the house. Right. And you were employed as a chef or employed as a cook somewhere. That, that is true. Uh -huh. Worked at Penland School of Crafts. And decided that you could make a living doing the pizza first and always knew you'd do beer together or? Uh, yeah, uh, we took over the pizza shop and... It was with, already with operational? The it pizza was. shop, okay. Mm -hmm. With the, uh, with the vision of opening the brewery second. And, and the brewery's been open about four years? Four years. Okay. Yep. And what kind of system do you brew on? Uh, I have a Sabco system. It's Ten gallons at a time. A kind of small operation. Yes, it's And true. you're mostly supplying your own needs for your own patrons that's, here. That's all we do. All you do. Mm -hmm. So if you want a dry county brew, you're going to have to find your way to Spruce Pine, find your way to the brewery and to the pizza shop, have a pizza, and have some beer. That is true. So, uh, you got some flagships that you always have on style here? Uh, we have about 45 different beers that we rotate through. Okay. So, you know, nothing ever stays the same for more than a day. All right. And do you have a preferred go-to style, or are you pretty much all across the continuum? I like everything. You know, I'm not picky about beer. Okay. And the customers seem to go for that. I mean, they like the variety again. Pretty much. I like having different choices all the time. And you always keep the continuum on, like you've always got something light, something dark, something like that. Is that how it kind of the plan, if there's a plan to it? There is. We have six taps. There's a light, a dark, a lager, an IPA, a farmhouse, and a Belgian. Okay. And is the community fairly craft beer aware, or do you still find yourself educating the, we call them the national <laughs> beer drinkers and the non-craft beer people? They, they are starting to come around. It took okay. a long time to get the local people to start drinking good beer. And when they find a way in for a pizza and they want a beer, uh, you said earlier off camera that you only have your beer. Mm -hmm. So you have something, I assume, usually on tap where they can just ease their way into the craft beer. Try movement. something, and if they don't like it, then, right. you know. Sure. This one, is one of yours? That's, that's my son, Sydney. <laughs> hey, Sydney. Sydney just made a guest appearance on the tape. <laughs> Um, but but overall, the community, is it a lot of regular? Is it a lot of, of tourist traffic? Is it both? We have a lot of both. We have a lot of both. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, the craft beer drinkers, they're starting to come around in Mitchell County. Good. So, yeah. And you were telling us also that, in fact, Mitchell County is still dry. Mitchell County is still dry. The town or township, whatever it is, of Spruce Pine is, has beer. Is wet. In, in, in many options. For, I mean, if I'm in Spruce Pine and want to drink a beer, I've got three or four places to go or yeah, more yeah. than that? Mm, yeah, about four or five. Okay, four or five. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them, I assume, are not craft beer? Uh, no, actually, I think they all are except for okay. two of them. All right. Yeah. So, that, so a beer drinker has some options, even in Spruce Pine. Mm -hmm. And you get your share of those, obviously. Yeah. Because you said, even on your small system, you are brewing eight or ten times a week. Yes, sir. And that's a lot of brewing. It's a lot of brewing. Uh, so, if they don't find your beer here, we've seen you at a festival or two, but you just, it's almost all you can do to supply your own needs. Yeah, that's why so we don't sell anywhere else. You're not going to find your beer out and about, and, and you're not going to be a lot of festivals and your name's going to be out there. Yeah. Is there a vision for eventually having a brand that's out on a shelf somewhere or on a tap? Yeah, we're looking at uh, doing some contract brewing and eventually expanding here. Okay. But it's going to be down the road. Right. Probably right. when the kids get a little bit older. Uh-huh. Uh, and expansion, there's room here on site to expand? Uh, yeah, we're looking at building out the back or okay, acquiring uh -huh. one of the buildings next door. Right. And, and that, but that is a fairly long-term vision, I guess. Yeah, that's probably a couple of years uh -huh. down the road. Now, does your culinary experience and training, well, not does it, how does it add to your beer making, your brewing? Uh, my my beers are all about balance. I don't like overly hot or any kind of 
really overpowering flavors in here. So you're not a hot pit at all? I am. Oh, okay. But I don't like the 200 or 500 mm -hmm. IBU beers. All right. I like, I like to be able to sit and drink three or four beers and not have them stick in my mouth. And, you know, be able to switch beers in between. Okay. And, and you relate some of that to your culinary experience? I think that's where it all comes from. You know, I think everything is about balance. I've been overpowering. Okay. And while we're here at the pizza shop, let's talk about the, the menu. Strictly pizzas or some other things? Uh, that kind of mostly pizzas and salads. All right. Uh, styles, go-to, regular pizzas or full uh, stuff or gluten-free or what are we talking about? We have gluten-freeze. Uh, pizzas are hand-tossed. Everything okay. is made in-house. Make all, well, make the Italian sausage, the meatballs, all the dressings, the sauce. So everything's made here. Okay. It was made every day. And you know. uh, being a little bit remote from from some areas, is it a problem getting the ingredients you need for either brewing or for the pizzas, or are you pretty good about it? You've you got your, your setup supplier from now, you're okay. Yeah, yes, it can be a problem. Uh -huh. you know, in the summertime, we get most of the stuff local for the pizzas, toppings. And right. Stuff. But um, during the winter, it's a little hard, and we have to go to a food per provider. Okay. And what are the open hours for somebody to come in and get a beer or a pizza? Uh, we're open Wednesday through Saturday, 12 to 9, and Sunday Year round, nine. not season. Not Year, Year round. round. Okay. Yep. Great, good, good. We appreciate you having us in today. Yeah, no problem. If you find your way into Spruce Pine in Mitchell County, and of course if you want to drink, as we said, you've got to come out of Mitchell County into the township of Spruce Pine, find your way to the pizza shop and the Dry County Brewery, and check Chad out and the family back here, and try some of the great beer they have on selection. And as he said, you don't know what you'll find, but you'll find something you like. Uh, this has been another episode of NC Beer Buzz. Thanks for having us in, Chad. Thanks for coming. And remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.